Red 2 standing by, all four loot and in the green. Welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. We've got one shine left to do in Delfino Plaza and that's the horrible pachinko machine which I'm really not interested in doing today. Mostly because things have been going pretty well and I don't want any serious horrors. We are going back into Gelato Beach because there's another secret shine to collect in the first stage and a few blue coins that I missed. So, Dunebud Sandcastle Secret. We've already seen some of them. We will need to head out to the island here. If we cruise out this way, we'll have to watch out for that... Uh, I think it's some variety of cheap cheap. There was a coin out here somewhere. As long as I press the right button, I might be able to swim down and see it. There it is, it's with a school of fish. Don't know what it's studying, maybe it's doing its A-levels, but... Oh, that's not nice. Stop swimming away f Oh, fantastic, it's clipped through the gr What a start, it clipped through the ground. The transition's gonna screw me over. Uh... Uh, thank you. Now there's another school of fish we can get. I think there's another school of fish out here anyway. So if we head off to a different class, we might be able to find something in terms of blue coins. I'll have a look. I'll see what we get. How far out can I go? Oh, right. There's one just sitting out here in the middle of the ocean. Maybe that other one travelling with the school of fish is the one that hangs around the uh, coral reef in uh, in later episodes. How far out can I go? There's Maybe I have gone out as far as I can go. I just wanted to explore a little bit. So I'll take a look around the reef again, see what we can find, just in case. Ah, there it is. Excuse me, Mr. Fish, I would like to steal your money. I have taken, I have taken lunch money. It really is like being back at school. So, fishy business aside, and one more crime uh, added to our rap sheet, we can head onto shore and see that there is a red cataquack. Dispatch those, or at least get them out of the way. And there we go. Another blue coin. Now, if I'm correct, there is another blue coin further up the level. You can actually... I didn't expect that. Rightio, so there is a blue coin all the way up there, and I think there's one up in the amphitheatre too. Rightio, let's actually get up there and see what I can get. We should be able to grab a few more blue coins because I don't have that many here, do I? 14. Not bad, but not a huge amount either. I'll see what I can do. I don't think we get the rocket nozzle for a good long while. Which is really annoying. It's always handy having that for exploration, honestly. The turbo nozzle... I think is probably the least useful for my money because there's a lot of vertical platforming involved. Alright, nice shooting. Less nice shooting, that's... Oh, 
Oh, blue coin. That's one. Now, where's the other blue bird? Missed again. Well, at least I don't have to chase it down hills and things like that. Just have to wait for it to come back, but yes, I continue to be an extremely awful shot. Not much has changed, at least. Been a little bit busy with some things, but... For heaven's sake, how did I miss that? That was just plain embarrassing. I, well, I've got worse as far as my aim goes. Bird. And there we are. Well, that's another blue coin, and my skills, as far as accuracy goes, have clearly deteriorated. Or maybe they technically haven't deteriorated. Haven't deteriorated on account of the fact that I'm still as bad as ever. Well, that gave me absolutely no momentum. That's getting slightly annoying. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need the rocket nozzle for that one. That's a little bit beyond my capabilities right now. Which is slightly sad, but oh well. We can at least get done what we needed to, which is a bit of a rarity for me actually doing what I'm supposed to. Squirt this dune butt again. And I wind up getting thrown away in a cutscene. That's rude. Alright. So we're into our hidden level now. First time around I was pretty smooth at this. Will I be much better? I don't know. Okay, now it was this. Best if I don't propel myself to my doom. Usually a good strategy. Don't die. Especially not when you're trying to get the one up. Alright, a minute to go. Whoa. Going a little crazy there. Round to the corners. Round here. Don't know what I did there, but it worked. There we go. Let's at least get that one up. You're exercising great caution as we move. Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances did I want to stuff up by getting the other shine. That would have been a pretty embarrassing start in all fairness. But we at least made it! That one is probably one of the easier secret levels in all fairness and it's probably fair we do get some simple ones along the way because some of them, especially later on, get really, really brutal. But now, we get to endanger more wildlife! Wiggler Ahoy! Full steam ahead! Cue the boss music, there is a very grumpy Wiggler, the one we disintegrated in Episode 2, cruising around. We have to avoid getting run over. 
and it's usually best to wait for Wiggler to come back at us. Because we get to... Uh, we knock over Wiggler with the Dune Buds. Ground Pound a very specific segment. Wiggler isn't very happy with us. Music cranks up even faster. And we get strike number two. Wiggler will get even angrier, as they tend to do. This one requires a bit more prediction for what we're going to do and where we're going to go. What is the best one? Ocean. Hasn't got anywhere near that one. Whoops. Rightio, our Wiggler on. No, it's definitely not going anywhere near it. We're going to have to aim for this one. So, this is fairly, fairly simple. Well, I killed a Noki, but I didn't get Wiggler. Just get your timing right in the Dune Buds. It's still not unconscious. That is weird. Okay, it's coming back. Wow, it goes out a long way. And right on the jugular. Nope. Oh, you mongrel. Why did I have to go and say this was simple? Uh. Shouldn't attempt at fate like that. I'm fairly certain that noise... Come on, get there! And there we are, Wiggler deflates. Melts into sand, we have killed another endangered species. And we get a Shine Sprite for it. Now that one is kind of excusable, because the locals wouldn't be able to do anything about that. Let's face it, they don't have a convenient water rocket pack. Some of the things we can kind of excuse them for not being able to help with. Full speed ahead! And another shine. Fairly easy. We'll probably be cruising a bit through Gelato Beach because I mainly need to do all the shine sprites. And one of the worst ones is coming up. The only thing I'm not doing at the moment is the pachinko machine. Maybe a bit later on. But we still have something crappy. We are still going to see rage. Assuming everything happens the way it usually does. The Sandbird is born. This is notorious. This is awkward. So, uh, rocket. I'm going to need to see if I can get the rocket nozzle. Hello, random person dancing. The Sandbird has finally hatched and it flew off. After all their work, absolutely nothing. Now, rocket, no rocket nozzle is still not available. That's a bummer. I think I just have to wait for it. Well, there's a footprint with a few coins. That's not bad, but we mostly need to make our way up to the amphitheatre. Very nice. More random dancing piantas, what do you have to say? Well, obviously the Sandbird doesn't want anything to do with the Piantas, and I cannot blame it! So we spray this unusual one and get our stairs. And now we can head all the way up, taking the regular path rather than cruising over the hill. 
And stray coins. Not too bad. But we're going to need a lot for what's coming up. Right through there, the sandbird's egg. Slide through, jump, rocket, and down here. What? Oh, where has this stupid island sent me now? Those idiots and their stupid cannons can't even aim right. And what is this? Wait, I don't even look like me. What's going on? Maybe if I find my way through here, I might be able to work something out. I think I remember what to do, but it's been a very, very long time if I remember... Am I even in the right spot? What's going on? Uh, it was... That should be it. Jeez, I hope I can find the stupid sandbird. I don't know what they're thinking. Why don't I ever wind up going where I'm supposed to? Oh, this island is an absolute nightmare at times. Worst holiday ever. I'm definitely leaving a bad review for these people. We should be almost there if my memory holds up. Oh, good. Let's try this one, shall we? Down we go, eventually. Gotta work up the courage. For one of the most notorious shine sprites in the game. Welcome to the Sandbird is Born. Whoops. So, we need to get all seven red coins on the Sandbird and blue coins. And I'm already dead. Because Mario physics. The physics on that. So, that random. Alright, Sandbird. You want to drop me off on the cloud here, buddy? Keep your hover nozzle ready to go. And get those blue. Now, it's worth noting, though, the Sandbird will actually come back around. Helpful. Oh god, that was that was nearly death. That was nearly not helpful. Okay, blue now all of the coins stay on the sandbird's body. Whoa, that it's getting a little exuberant there. Right, now we have to stay on its tail while it's banking. Wait for it to start turning again. And then very carefully run up its neck. Where is that last blue coin? Alright, on the tail is the last one. There's a blue coin. So that's all four blue coins which are here. Note that after a while the sandbird actually will wind up coming back around. We don't fall through the clouds as far as I know. So I can just sort of wait here. get some really, really weird dreams going when he's just sitting around doing nothing. Oh well, must be nice to relax for a bit. Better not miss our plane! How did I stick that? 
Now we have to get to the wingtip. And across we go. Do not do anything stupid. And unbelievably, I got all the blue coins in there and did that in one run, so I had to wait. But the fact you can wait, a lot of people may not know about that. It makes the sandbird a lot easier. If you fall off, try to land on the clouds. We actually did that really smoothly. I'm pretty surprised in all fairness. I thought I was going to fall off a lot, but there was one instance of jank, almost like a token effort, and let's get back into it. What is number five? Il Piantissimo Sand Sprint. Here we go. So, we can see there is a random goal pole at the amphitheatre. And there is Il Piantissimo. What is this person... Are you practicing to run against him? Per Sir! Sir, talk to me. Sir, I did not actually mean to jump on you. Right, okay. Alright, so we can do that, or we can head over and talk to El Piantissimo. Let's take a moment. Are there any blue co No blue coins in the sky on the beach. Now, observe if you will. El Piantissimo laughing over there. Not only does he wind up looking like one of the nodons from uh, Game Builder Garage now that I think about it, just with a plant on his head, but if you actually take the Pianta helmet off him, the visage of the running man from Ocarina of Time is under there. It is stated by several Piantas that Il Piantissimo is not a Pianta, he's actually just some random runner appropriating their culture and they're very ticked off. Now the Piantas absolutely suck. They are they are moronic, they are incompetent, and they wind up uh, hiding a whole lot of the island's guardians. They run a mafia for one thing, but I don't think that really gives Il Piantissimo the right to steal their cultural elements. He's dressing up like them, but he's not doing a good job. Let's set to this and talk to this strange laughing man. I am Il Piantissimo, and now we shall race to that flag! <laughs> it is a race to the finish flag, and only one can triumph! The other person gets conveniently murdered because of the stupid mechanics of this game! By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go! So we need to wall kick. There are absolutely no complaints about using shortcuts. We just have to get up there. And we get a party. There he is. Phew hoo ha! You are pretty good. You have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. We will meet again, and goodbye. And there we go, very easy shine sprite. Well, we'll grab that, and... That wraps up the half century. Raise the bat. So, we would have, under normal circumstances, enough to have beaten the game. But we don't need to worry about that because we have still only done two of the seven required shine sprites. Even then, you can technically beat the game with, uh, let's see, 45 shine sprites if you know what you're doing because you can actually clip into the shine sprite for the Watermelon Festival, which is Shine 8, and that lets you go to Gelato Beach's Shadow Mario Chase. Makes things a bit easier. 
Red coins in the coral reef, a very, very simple one. Let's see if we get our rocket nozzle. So, the coral reef. This one is another really cruisy one. Okay, so the rocket nozzle over there isn't doing anything. I wonder if there's one over here. I think there is. Oh, I thought there was. Where is it? I'm pretty sure there's an alcove with a nozzle. Somewhere near here, is it? Oh, that's... that's not it. You've got to get the rocket nozzle somewhere in this level. And I need it to get that blue coin floating up there that's been bothering me. It's scattered somewhere near the beehives. I'm gonna need Yoshi for that one. Oh, there it is! It's up there! I can't believe I forgot about that. We might get the turbo nozzle in this, I'm not sure. But anyway, rocket nozzle ahoy! So, this will let me get that, uh, get those coins high up near this place. Where do I find Yoshi in this level? Oh, the bees have followed me! Come on! The bees can clip through scenery, that's bad. There's the turbo nozzle, if I... Oh, that is not a bad landing. So, turbo nozzle, that I think is how you'd normally get those blue coins where I sprayed down the wall back in episode one of this. Blue coins, 21, not too shabby. Run along the beach. Now where do I get Yoshi in this level? I want to find Yoshi so I can go and eat those bees. <clears throat> Is he out here? Yes. What do you want? Coconut, okay. Allow me to find a coconut and then we'll be right with you. Now... Well, hang on, excuse me, you are persistent. That's not working. Well, there's another blue coin. That's not bad. Now we need to find the coconut. Where will I get the coconut? Okay, so those ones damage you. Fast travel, at least. Now, coconut. Where do I get the coconuts? Are they in trees? Presumably. Okay, just bear with me for a minute. I'm going on a fruit hunt. There it is. Come back. I'm stuck in the sand. There are two coconuts. I must have knocked one down earlier. Grab the coconut and run. And we will be able to get Yoshi, eat some bees, and get rid of some goo. Now, let me see. Whoa. Oh, 
Alright, Cataquax we get rid of quite nicely. That didn't work. Does Yoshi... Oh nice, the footprint gives us a blue coin, handy. Nice, stuck the landing, and now let's line up this, and another blue coin will be ours. Still not a good shot, there's a tree in my way. Alright, stay on the move. And there we are, another blue coin, which puts me at 24 for this level, nice. So, I can probably wind up finding a few more as I go along, but we might as well just wrap this one up and we do have to go out into the ocean. However, I'm not going to kill Yoshi. I am going to leave Yoshi alone. Yoshi gets to sit in the shade and enjoy the beach. Now I think, wait, hang on. I think there was a blue coin on top of one of the trees on that island. Let me get back there very quickly. Nice turbo nozzle. We'll be able to run across the surface of the water. Or at least dash through it. We don't actually get to run through the surface of the water. That is exclusively for the Turbo Talent Trot in Banjo-Tooie. Finesse, again, not the game's strong suit. Well, I picked the right one. There's the blue coin and some other coins. Rocket nozzle's probably going to be handy for those. But out into the deep we go. Ooh, belly flop. That's got to hurt. So our coral reef is over here. With all our beautiful water effects, we'll be able to cruise around and grab some red coins. This is one of the more relaxed red coin missions, honestly. You just get to take your time, cruise around, take in the sights, and just grab whatever you can. You've got plenty of opportunity to resurface, so just take it at your own pace. The game does give us some really good mellow shines, in all fairness. Probably to compensate for all the jank it puts us through. There's another one through here. Some of them actually do travel. Ah! Come on. And they can clip through the walls. Okay, so that's aggravating. Alright, so it's faster than me, that's a pain. Has it swum outside the level boundary? And I've been eaten by a fish. Come back here. Why did I say this was going to be easy? Damn it. Where's it gone now? Lousy coin. Okay, well I got a different one. Was it the moving one? 
I've just got to keep cruising around and taking a look because that one th really threw me off. Okay, there's one over there. Okay, I clipped on top of a rock. Alright, let's chase this one. Oh, I can use the hover nozzle underwater for a burst of speed. That's handy. That's actually really handy. Will you get back here? Oh, man. Okay, I thought this was going to be easy, but chasing them is a pain in the backside. This is a little bit more frustrating than I remembered it being. Especially since you've got fish who want to make you into a snack. Okay. No coin there. One. Well, that's six. There's one. Now I've got one more to go. Where is that mystery coin? It's going to take a little while of searching because there's, again, I don't remember where they all are. I can't zoom the camera out any further than that. I see fish. I see a lot of fish. Oh, there it is. We did get that roving one completely by accident. Whoops. Not, well, not so much whoops, but just a little frustrating that when I gave up on it and decided to get myself better organized, I found it without even trying. Anyway, we can wrap up Gelato Beach and get the 100 coins in the next one. Uh, maybe we got time for one more, because it is the Shadow Mario chest. So let's get on to that one to wrap up the episode. Yahoo! We'll have a lot of running around to do in the next one, but we've made very good progress today. One more, a quick chase, a swift hose down, and that will wrap things up. So, Shadow Mario's stage is called... It's Shadow Mario, after him. Imaginative? So, there we are. Shadow Mario, I don't think, goes swimming in this one. But he actually uses a few of our tactics. We'll just have to spray and pray like usual. Admittedly, if he actually... I hate it when that happens. It just decides he's going to be invincible and he runs right through your hose to hurt you. At least he's trying to evade us though. Not that it did him much good. Note that you can't actually grab these until it's touched the ground. So there we are!
until next time, this is Red 2 returning to base. <laughs>